What is going on guys? My name is Bucky and welcome to your very first tutorial in Linux. Now in this video series I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a whole bunch of cool stuff with Linux but before we begin I probably should answer this question what the heck is Linux? Well Linux is an open source operating system. Alright what does that mean and why would I care about it? Well you already know what an operating system is. Windows is an operating system. Um, if you're on a Mac, you probably have OS X as your operating system. An operating system is pretty much the core component that any you know personal computer needs in order to work. So normal users really don't care about these because they usually work behind the scenes and do stuff like handle memory and you know handle devices like whenever you plug a USB uh, flash drive into your computer and like I said, normal users are like, who cares as long as it works, whatever. But to developers and like server administrators, they really want to learn about this thing called Linux because not only is it a different type of operating system, but it's open source. So what's the benefit of having an operating system that's open source? Well, check it out. The people at Microsoft, whenever they make uh, Windows or the people who make OS 10 they write the code and all that code that they use to write it it's hidden now Windows and OS 10 don't get me wrong they have lots of money and they made awesome operating systems I love them I have computers that have Windows and OS 10 both on it but here is the problem that I have with these operating systems first of all whenever the people at Microsoft and Apple are making these operating systems they write the code and they just give you the CD or it comes pre-installed on your computer but you really don't know how the operating system is made or the source code behind it so the problem with that is how do you know that you know everything is secure like it should be programmed properly and there aren't any back doors shout out to the NSA if you can hear me so how do you know that you know there are no issues like that well you don't you can never see the source code so you just kinda have to trust these companies now another it's not really an issue but it's kind of a problem that you have is what happens when you want to change something on your operating system what happens when there's a bug that you want to fix or maybe there's just something about it that you want to customize well with Windows in Mac OS 10 you can't really do that so you're pretty much stuck with what they have sure you can pick like Windows 7 8 or 10 but that's pretty much all the flexibility you have so that is where Linux comes to the rescue. So not only is it completely free, but it's completely open source as well. This means that all of the code that they made to create this operating system, you can see, you can actually just copy it and change a few things, and you can release your own version of Linux called Splinix if you want. And since it's open source, instead of a company of people working on it, you have the entire world that can you know fix bugs make updates and add features make improvements to it so it's pretty stinking cool so sounds pretty awesome I mean a Linux alright sounds pretty cool let's go ahead and play around with it but here's the problem you see there is no way in the world I am uninstalling Windows and installing Linux no matter how cool it is because I got a bunch of stuff on my computer I don't want to mess with any of my files got all my you know pictures from my girlfriend on here so what can we do well you have a couple options so just like any operating system what you can do is you can just install it as your main operating system so you can uninstall Windows and install a distribution of Linux and I'll show, I'll show you guys what distribution means later on but you can do that but that's gonna be a pain so instead what I'm gonna recommend is this in this tutorial series and if you're just getting started with Linux I'm going to show you guys how to install something called a virtual machine. Now a virtual machine is pretty much a computer within a computer. What the heck am I talking about? Well whenever I show you guys how to set up this program, what it is is going to allow you to pretty much host an entirely separate operating system within Windows or within your Mac. So that way we can you know install Linux we can you know install games on it have a whole bunch of files text files and if we accidentally you know delete the entire core operating system then it doesn't affect our main 
and this is called a host operating system. So it's entirely sandboxed, entirely separate from our main computer, and that way we have a nice, safe environment. All right, that sounds much better. So how do we get this virtual machine? Well, there are a couple of different virtual machines. VirtualBox is one of the most popular ones, but I like the virtual machine from VMware. So if you go to VMware.com, and this is entirely free, by the way, click on Downloads, and if you scroll down until you see where you at, where you at, where you at, right here, VMware Player. So whenever we click this, this is the product that allows us to pretty much have virtual machines or have separate operating systems within our operating system. So pick what one you want to download and I'm going to download mine for Windows. Don't download one for Linux because if you're already on Linux in this tutorial then you know you don't need to install Linux within Linux but I am on Windows so I'm going to click download and let it do its thing. So once it's downloaded double click it to open it and this is just a wizard so if you ever installed anything this is going to be a piece of cake click yes let me minimize this and another thing I want to point out I read this before but I never really had problems with it some people say that they have problems installing this whenever they have USB drives plugged into their computer so before you run this installer unplug every USB drive from your computer again I personally never had a problem with it but some people say so you know just giving you guys a heads up alright so continuing just click next next where do you want to install it default location looks good and check for product updates on start why not make sure we have the most up-to-date version and do we want to send them anonymous nah I think I'm good and click next and do you want to create a desktop on or do you want to create a shortcut on your desktop yes I do and also in my start menu and that way we can just you know easily open it next and continue and that is it how easy was that so once it's done click finish and drag this over so you guys can see and we now should have this shiny new icon on our desktop so we can click it and boom there we go so you're not gonna have any of these in fact let me remove these so let me just remove it from the library so yours is gonna look like that the reason that I had those is because I had virtual machines before actually just uninstalled this and installed it for the tutorial but you're now ready to create a new virtual machine and this is pretty much a new virtual computer within your computer but don't click this link yet because um, we don't even have an operating system yet so before we set up our new computer we should go ahead and download Linux so our computer actually has something to do so close out of this and I'm gonna show you guys how to download Linux right now